about him so much. Now we're talking with him, Elvis Stoiko. So happy to have him part of our broadcast team now here on TSN and CTV. And Elvis, uh, I, I don't know if you knew this, but we had a, a rule in the broadcast booth whenever you skated, it was called never count him out. <laughs> I think that was probably a rule in all of sport. Well, definitely, when I, when, when I was competing, I never gave up. I always focused and, and kept going right to the end. And if you make a mistake, you know, you get those little jittery legs when you're going into the next element. But I always push it behind me and kept striving. And that's key, especially in the short program, which we're going to see tonight, because for every mistake, the skaters will get a huge deduction in Elvis. If a skater makes one mistake, they can still save the short program if they skate clean. So uh, it's quite a skill to have. Well, it's definitely uh, a major thing in the short. The short tends to be m the most pressure out of the whole event. And if you do make a mistake, the main thing is to keep your legs underneath you. you if you make a mistake in the short, the next element comes up, you get the, the waverly legs, and you get nervous. And you've got to put that behind you. That's the toughest part about the short program. Let's take a look. And another tough part about the short program now at the Worlds, and I know you love this, is uh, skating a day after qualifying. Evgeny Plashenko, who has been hurt, by the way, leader in his group, Tim Gable in second place. Emmanuel Sandu, Jeffrey Buttle, we'll see them coming up fifth and sixth and within striking range of the podium. Qualifying group B, leader was Michael Weiss of the United States, competing on home ice, not just United States ice. We're talking hometown ice to Keshi Honda in second place. It's key, though, for the Canadian skaters, Emmanuel Sandu and Jeffrey Buttle. If they are to realize their dreams in this competition, they are going to need to nail their quad in the short program. Emmanuel Sandu has landed a couple of quads in the short program in competition this year. The good news for Jeffrey Buttle is he landed his first quad in the short program at Four Continents, a quad triple. And Elvis, it's interesting, Jeffrey Buttle's strategy Strategy. He has not had great success with the quad, even in practice. Most skaters wait till it's a, they have a 50% success rate before they put it in competition, but not Jeffrey Buttle. Do you agree with his strategy? Well, it depends on the skater. you got two choices. Now, you can push yourself as a skater, not worry about the result, and try to gain some experience with it. Or, if you want to play it safe and just go for the result, he's got two choices. It looks like he's trying to play it like he wants to get out there and get that quad under his belt. That's how he's playing the strategy. Maybe he should take uh, some videotape of your old quads and uh, go look back at some of those. Here's uh, Jeff Buttle on landing that quad, that first quad at the Four Continents. The whole week the practices have been going, uh, you know, really well. And uh, again, the goal this year was basically just to put the quad toe in the program. Um, so it obviously would have been nice to land it, uh, but really there's no extreme expectations on doing so. So in the short program I went out there um, on the warm-up, landed it. And then it felt really good going into it in the program. I landed quad toe, triple toe, which had been the first time I'd ever really landed it two times in a row. Um, so it was a pretty big deal, and to do it in the program was immense. The whole week at Four Continents uh, was a huge breakthrough. He started landing a lot of quads in practice. And to see him do it uh, under pressure, that was a real big breakthrough for him. Uh, his confidence has really improved since then knowing that he's able to land it under pressure and even more importantly in the short program. As always with the short program, eight required elements and they say about the short program you cannot win the competition on it but you can lose it because of the costly deductions. Well here the biggest thing is a lot of guys are going to be trying the quad first. If the quad, if they miss the quad, you get shaky legs on the triple axle, you gotta hold it together. That's the biggest thing here. We're gonna be watching that for the quad land at the first jump, see what they do after that. One of the guys with the best quad in the world, Evgeny Plashenko, former world champion. No Alexa Yagudin here, remember. It's all next, men's short program at the Worlds in Washington. CI Center in Washington. Men's short program coming up. We're 30% of the final mark, 20% yesterday to the qualifiers. Jeff Funnel, Emmanuel Sandu, Evgeny Plashenko, Ryan Yonke, one of yesterday's surprise finishers. Third in his qualifying group. Takeshi Honda, Stefan Lambiel. Lambiel, like Yonke, never in this position before. Tim Gable and Michael Weiss, they should bring the house down. Final two skaters tonight, both from the United States. Four, eight. And on the ice is Jeff Buttle. A year ago, he was eighth at his first Worlds. It was all about experience last year. This year, it's about improving. Just came off landing his first quadruple jump. 
at the Four Continents Championship. Right now, he is in sixth place in his group, technically 11th overall, but a chance here. We've had some skaters already skate tonight to move up in a big way. Key for him, of course, is the quadruple jump. And uh, in the warm-up, before, uh, just about three skaters ago, he nailed a quad-toe, triple-toe combination. So he had a great warm-up. His short program to uh, music from the movie Conspiracy Theory. Leader right now is Cheng Chang Li of China. Had a great skate. Sergei Davidov is second. Brian Joubert of France is in third. And now, time for Team Canada. together. a little bit and just enjoy the crowd here. Now you'll see his character come out. by Jeff, holding everything together. Great spins, great footwork, great attempt on the quad. Hand down, three turn, small deduction, but a great thing for him here at the World Championships to get that combination down. Judges marks upcoming. Men's short program continuing. Up next in Barry with Doug Lee, Elvis's old coach and his old club, the Mariposa Club. Jeffrey has an unorthodox entrance into his quad. Do you like it, Elvis? Well, the trick here is to get the speed on that left toe right there. Is the quickness into the toe is a little bit late, but it got him enough to keep him on his feet and continue through the jump. So that entry, I'm not sure if it helps him keep the speed and the quickness on the left toe. You'll see it again right here when it picks in right there, and now he gets into the jump right in that position. It was a little bit slow, so it slows him down a little to get his leg out. See how late his leg comes out there? And he has to put his hands down. Point. But, but it was a great attempt. Point two deduction for the hands down. Here we go, the triple axle. Sometimes he bends forward a little bit. Like a rocker almost. He's improved that a lot. Yes. Triple Lutz. Nice entry. 
Nice clean landing, nice smile. It's a real joy about his skating, Jeff Buttle. And it has been an interesting strategy all season. A lot of people questioned whether Jeff Buttle should put in the quad. He kept going for it every time. And a lot of times he crash landed throughout the season and took a lot of serious deductions. But I think to be competitive, he needs the quad. And that's what he wants. And the whole year, you know, taking a pounding from it. But it's paying off. He's getting the experience that he needs. You have to have the quadruple jump, bottom line, to be a player at the World Championships. Well, he's made the top ten, and he knows if he's to crack the top five and have any chance at a medal, he's got to have that quad. Emmanuel Sandu has landed it a number of times. Will he land it tonight? Needs it. He's next on the ice. Here come the marks the for mark Jeff Buttle. Again, an ascending range of marks in this interim system, which has been heavily criticized. 4.6 to 5.4. Only nine of those marks are used and set out randomly. Second place ordinals to a 14th place ordinal. So, obviously, the randomness of that does not help Jeff Buttle. 14th is ridiculous. He represents Canada. A oh, warm welcome, please, for Emmanuel Sandu. Emmanuel Sandu. Question has always been, can he handle the nerves in the clutch at the World Championships? Fifth in his qualifying group, technically in a tie for ninth, and again, a great opportunity here with a couple of skaters earlier on who were a little bit higher than Emmanuel, who did not rise. Well, we'll have to see here. Now, Emmanuel jumps in the other direction, which he's going to be taking off from his right foot. That foot, we're going to have to watch the quickness off the takeoff. Get a little bit of trouble with it in practice. Let's see how he does it here. A little bit slow on the takeoff, coming down on two feet. Not able to complete all the revolutions, but does get the triple toe in at the end. Triple axle. Good for him, hanging on. He looked a little tentative going into it. I didn't think he was going to power through, but he did make it through. One more jump here. Footwork into triple lutz. Ooh, just hanging on. He looks like he's got a little bit of the wobby of the legs. Just what I talked about earlier today about trying the quad, not doing it well, or missing it, sometimes the rest of the jumps in the program start to suffer a little bit. Here is where he shines. Emmanuel did in this performance. He looked tight, 
at the beginning of the program. He kept pushing through, pushing through. By the end, he found his comfort zone and was flying. And because of that, Elvis, he's, he's going to get some decent marks. He didn't give up on that. Well, gaining the experience year by year, knowing that he can't give up, no matter what happens at the beginning, and, and especially in the short program, the pressure is more than any part of the competition. It is a work in progress for Emmanuel Sandu. And also the quadruple jump. It is of supreme importance. It has become now a required element practically for the elite skaters in the men's ranks. Emmanuel has something on his skate, so he'll bang off the debris. And here is the quadruple jump that was two-footed. A pick in here with the right foot up a little bit slow, so he lands on two feet, has to step out. Nice triple toe. Now watch, he's going to be picking in with the right leg. Now we'll see how fast he comes off the ice into rotation. He's a little late getting in, which means he's late on the landing and can't get the leg out, has to take a step. Joanne McLeod in the background. Triple axel. He looked a little tentative. Not as high as normal. Oh, just squeaks it out. Squeaks it out. I agree with you, Elvis. When he went into that jump, I didn't think he was going to push through the rotation either. The main thing for Emmanuel is pushing the energy through the jump. He tends to get tentative. Here with the Lutz a little bit. Not as big. Hangs on. Good chance for both Emmanuel and Jeff certainly to be in the top 10 heading into the free skate, maybe even a little higher. Remember, we have Stefan Lambiel and Ryan Yonke still to skate. They have never really been in a final flight at a Worlds before and see how they react to the pressure cooker. It's going to be interesting what they're going to do because those are going to be the key players for the long program. Everybody at home. <laughs> the marks right Here come the marks. Required elements. <laughs> the range is again a big range, a huge range, 4.5, 5.3, and this has been the problem with this interim system. Tracy Wilson, just an absolutely incredible range from third to 11th. And as a skater, anybody, we don't know which marks will count. So if Jeffrey Buttle gets the judge that has the 14th place and Emmanuel the 11th, that can really eskew the total marks. Emmanuel Jeff Sandu Buttle is Canada ahead of Emmanuel is Sandu right now. Buttle is fourth, place. Sandu is fifth. Cheng Jang Lee leads. Men's final flight is next. In the men's free skate, who will be the winner? And we're already looking ahead to next season here on TSN and on CTV. And ticket sales already underway for Skate Canada and the national championships. MasterCard Skate Canada International will be held in Mississauga in October and all event ticket packages available right now. Call the phone lines or Ticketmaster and we'll see you at the Hershey Center in Mississauga and right now on ice Final flight, six men. Right now, Ching Chang Lee of China leads. Jeff Buttle of Canada is fourth. Emmanuel Sandu is fifth. And uh, Evgeny running out to the ice almost missed the curtain call. That's funny, but it was good to see his coach, Mishin, smiling because usually he doesn't have a, situ a, a sense of humor in situations like this. And Plushenko is first to skate. So important, Elvis, that he makes the most of his warm-up time. Absolutely. That can, uh, that can unnerve you a little bit, but uh, I think he's got enough experience under his belt to be able to keep his cool. But if you remember, it was the quad in the short program at the Olympic Games that cost Evgeny Plushenko the gold medal. Missed the Worlds last year, had a right knee injury. This year, his left knee is inflamed from overuse, he says. He says there is a beach with his name on it. As soon as the Worlds are over, he's going on vacation. That sounds great. But he'd like to go on vacation with a world title. And again, no Alexei Yagudin this year. So the rivalry is still out there between Plushenko and Yagudin. Maybe next year. Probably the closest competitor in terms of the total package to Evgeny Plushenko is this man. You know him well, Elvis. 
Yeah, Honda's got the whole package here. He's got to keep his nerves under control. That's been uh, the biggest factor for him. Uh, he's got the experience the last couple of years, and uh, the nerves is going to be the big thing going in the quad. And if he lands the quad, he does have one of the finest in the competition, and I think you like it better than Plushenko's quad. I do. I do, because it, it's, a, it's a bigger jump. It's much cleaner on the takeoff, and it does have, when he does it, has a really nice, clean landing. Uh, very smooth, and has that real launch, has that hang time. The key here is to stay close to whoever is the leader, and, and very well, Tim Gable could also be the leader heading into the free skate. His nerves also are going to be a factor. He tends to get a little bit nervous, a little uptight. He's having a little bit of a rough warm-up, but he's also got the experience, too. I think he can uh, pull it off and, and uh, stay very consistent and uh, tick off each element one by one. He, too, has had an injury-filled season, a hip injury, did not participate in the Grand Prix season, had a terrible national championship. Runner-up to this man, Michael Weiss, who is on home ice, he was born in Washington, lives nearby in McLean. And he rose to the occasion in the qualifying round. He did not land his quad cleanly. And in fact, he has struggled with the quad in his short program all year. He has not done it cleanly. And competition in the short, Elvis, key for him tonight. Key for him tonight, I think, is, is just powering through it. He tends to want to land on two feet sometimes with that left yes. leg over crossing his right. Yes. And uh, he's just got to power through it. And I think uh, the audience is going to give him that a little bit of extra electricity. Well, he has a little uh, extra weapon, too. Uh, apparently, I know some people have, you know, those, those mental coaches, the people that help them out, the, the sports psychologist. Michael Weiss has been seeing a hypnotist over the last two weeks, three times a day. Whatever it takes. If you got to go out there and do quads under this kind of pressure, whatever it takes. He'll skate last. Koshenko leads off the final flight here tonight, men's short program. Again, you can't win it here in the short program, but you certainly can lose it. You have to stay in the top three if you want to win gold. He will skate to Adagio, and like all of his competitors, his quad will be the first element in the program. Now something to watch out for is the landing. Sometimes he tends to cheat the landing. He does it cleanly. And when I mean cheat, I mean not complete all of the revolution in the air and come down completely backwards. He did it perfect. Quad toe, triple toe, and now he will build for his triple axle. Slow going into that. He dropped his left shoulder going into that, which made his right side come around too much on the takeoff, and it tilted him in the air. He's very lucky. Honda could walk through that door, definitely. Now, talking about artistry here, going through the program, one thing I didn't like is the fact that you could put any type of music to this, and it wouldn't really matter. There's a lot of expression, a lot of drama, but it doesn't seem to connect with the music.
most flexible male skaters in the world. Champion three years ago in Vancouver. Would like to be champion again of the world. Maybe, but there are others out there who will challenge. Marks in a moment. And Ryan Young is next. There is no doubt about the talent in this young man's body of Genny Plushenko. Just 20 years old, already once a world champion. The rival, the chief rival of his countryman, Alexei Yagudin, who is not here with injury. Now, like I was saying earlier, sometimes he tends to cheat this on the landing, which means he doesn't get all the way around, but he did this cleanly. You'll see the takeoff nice, easy in the air, landing backwards, popping up into the triple toe. Beautiful combination. I thought it was a very strong uh, quad triple combination, Elvis. And I'm surprised that he held back so much going into his next element, the triple axle. He went with no confidence. He, he was he was fighting it. He seemed a little tight, and I don't know why. Now here, watch his, his left shoulder drops there, and you could see it pitch him sideways. And that, to me, is a sign of holding back. He has said that his knee has bothered him. Uh, but my knee would bother me after this. My back would bother me after that. <laughs> Nothing like a good stretch, eh, Rod? Yeah. So right. he, wa he was lucky, as you said, Elvis, able to hang on to the landing of the triple axe, although it was not as good a jump as he can do. Still a very good set. Look at a 5-9 in required element. Very good set of marks there. There should not be quite the range we've seen, especially from the elite skaters. The judges have boxed themselves into the corners for the Ordinals and saving themselves for this final flight, quite obviously. But we have seen some rather ludicrous judging early on tonight here in this interim system as reform apparently on its way in skating. Here is Ryan Yonke. Please welcome Ryan Yonke. Unless you are an American skating fan, you're probably saying Ryan who? Well, Ryan Yonke just turned 25. He finished third at the U.S. Nationals. Has never been at the World Championships, but here he is. Nina Rota, this music La Strada, and Ryan is the only skater in the final flight that does not do a quad in competition. He will open here with his triple Lutz, triple toe. Nice start. He was sixth in the short program at the U.S. Nationals, had a great long, so he earned himself a spot on the world team. Becoming known as a consistent skater. Here's his triple axle. Oh, he, he backed away from that. Very similar to Plashenko setup. He dropped the left shoulder, backing away, and not getting the pop that you usually see, that nice lift in the air to complete all the revolutions. same intensity as the long program holding back a bit I think that's due to being in the last group world championships the pressure's on it's a tough place to be final jump out of footwork a triple flip back on track good for him keeping it together Nice positions, nice line. That's one of his strengths in his skating.
triple axel will cost him. But for a guy just happy to be here at the World Championships, a pretty impressive performance nonetheless. Under, <laughs> under the situation, the pressure, I think he did a great job. Ryan Yonke. It's a pleasure to watch Ryan, the way he uses his music and a warm ovation from his hometown crowd. Last year's bronze medalist at the Worlds, Takeshi Honda, straight up. Seen one yet. Ryan Yonke on that triple axle. Just made it here. He's from Detroit and trains in Colorado Springs. Was part of that big snowstorm out there. Got here late, but he's in the final flight. This beautiful combination, a little close to the boards, triple huts, triple toe. Not as difficult as the last group here is doing the quads. Now here on the triple axle, you'll see his left shoulder drop again. Very similar to Plashenko, which backs him away, and he can't make it around. Signs of nerves, a little bit of nerves. That's tend to be the first thing that happens. You could see when he stepped onto the practice this morning and his name was announced among the skaters from the final flight. He just had this ear-to-ear -ear grin. He was so excited, Elvis, to be in that last group, and it's got to throw you. Well, it's a great... It's Being in the last group for the first time, it's such a privilege. You're so excited. There's so many emotions going on. you got to try to control all that and try to focus. And this is a great opportunity for him to be put in this position. This experience goes beyond anything, and it's, it's a great part to be here, especially at home in the U.S. He might take some advice from a former world champion from the United States, Todd Eldridge, as Takeshi Honda's next. Todd Eldridge oh, never had the quadruple oh jump. God. If you do not have a quadruple jump, you have to land everything else. You have to be squeaky clean. And unfortunately for him, that triple axle will cost him. Evgeny Plashenko is our leader. Cheng Zhang Li is second. Sergei Davidov, who skated earlier, is third. Again, qualification was yesterday. Marks in ascending range, 4.4 to 5.2. We have seen some off-the-wall numbers early on here tonight. And presentation marks. Yonke is going to be in fourth place right now Ryan Yonke, with four United skaters States to come so the worst he could be place. is eighth heading into the free skate right now Jeff Buttle is sixth Emmanuel Sandu is seventh and once again you saw all those ordinals all over the Japan. map please welcome Takeshi Honda and here is Takeshi Honda turn 22 a couple of days ago, he always celebrates his birthday at the World Championships. Last year, he celebrated by winning a bronze medal. This is a program choreographed by Kurt Browning to the music Leyenda. Key here is keeping his nerves under control so he can power through this jump and not hold back. Quad toe, triple toe. Hanging on, a little hesitant on the takeoff, which meant he was hesitant on the landing and had to bend forward, but hangs on to it. No major deductions. And now the triple axel. Beautiful. Plashenko landed a quad toe, triple toe. Takeshi, a quad toe, double toe. If he's to catch Plashenko, he's got to be perfect. And he's got to skate all out. Now, the difference here is the footwork into the Lutz. Much more difficult than Plashenko's. A much better jump. Beautiful. Nice. between Honda and Plashenko. A little bit more connection with the music, opposed to Plashenko's program. Ice coverage is faster. Spins are faster as well.
good for him. This program will keep him in the hunt for the long program. Quad toe, triple toe was a quad toe, double toe. Pretty close to Plushenko in a lot of areas, and he will be pretty close to Plushenko in the standings. Judge's decision, upcoming. And still to skate, Americans Tim Gable and Michael Weiss will skate last tonight on home ice at the Worlds. Takeshi Honda's career happened in his homeland last year in Nagano, Japan, when he won a bronze medal, but there was a look on his face last year. It was almost like, all right, what's next? Can I go higher in the world? That's when you know that you've arrived at an elite level. Well, gaining the experience to compete at this level with guys like Plushenko, it takes, it takes a few years to feel that. It takes a few years to gain the confidence, to be out there, to know and feel and understand that I can do this, I can be at the top and compete with the best in the world. That was a huge quad, the distance he covered across the ice in the air. That's why I consider it one of the best in the world. He was a little late on the takeoff, but the launch in the air got him the room to land. However, his body was a little bit forward, not able to uh, complete the triple toe. But no deductions, no major deductions. Great footwork going into this triple edge, which is much better than Plashenko's. We're splitting hairs here, but we need to in regards to these two skaters. So now Takeshi Honda, who almost is a Canadian, you might say, from Japan, of course, but has been around for quite some time. Elvis, you remember him, I'm sure, as a, just a little boy up at the Mariposa Club in Barrie, and he loves living in Canada and training. Well, I remember uh, competing with Takeshi when he was 13, 14 years old, whipping off triple axles, and I knew that he would uh, grow into a very formidable competitor. Range of marks, 5-3 to 5-7. Again, this system, we have always known if there is a mark out of whack, what we have not been able to know this year is what judge to criticize because of the anonymity. I think those marks are low for what he did. He had some fine elements in there, great footwork sequences, and musical, as you said, Elvis. There's a little bit of uh, competition between Zheng Zheng Li and Takeshi right there. Zheng Zheng Li doing quad triple opposed to quad double, and then the program comparison. Here are the standings. Plushenko, Honda is second. Zheng Zheng Li of China is third. Davidov is fourth. Ryan Yonke fifth right now. Buttle and Sandu seventh and eighth. And here is Stefan Lambiel from Switzerland, who must feel like he's having an out-of-body experience right now being in the final flight. Third after qualifying and had a sensational qualifier yesterday. This year has been a series of firsts for Stefan. He landed his first triple axel at his national championship. He landed his first quad at European and then landed quad triple and a triple axel in his qualifying. There's his triple axel here, just on. hung on. He looked a little bit tentative going in there. He's focused. Once again, he's in the same position as Ryan coming in here, a newcomer, gaining the experience. Quad combination next. A little slow on the takeoff, not aggressive, wasn't able to complete the revolutions. Nerves. A consistent with many Swiss skaters over the years for whatever reason and you'll see it later in the program by their, far their ability to spin by far the best spinner in the competition major strength you can watch him spin all day oh, unfortunate the right side coming around it almost looks like he's his, he's lost his legs. 
little bit of nerves. Couldn't put a foot wrong in the qualifying round. A quad and eight triples. Had the performance of a lifetime. Here he's really having to fight it. I think he's feeling the pressure of being in the last group. But still a colorful skater. Lots of character. The crowd's been loving him all week. Well, he knew coming in that he wasn't going to be on the podium, probably. This was about cracking the top ten, personal best. And uh, all of this, of course, is a learning experience, including being in that final group. Tough to handle those butterflies, huh? Absolutely. On, let me go. Losing his legs oh, a little bit. Leg. Losing his legs a little bit. You know, the pressure. We'll have to see what the judges do. Up next, the new king of the quad. It's all right to experience the smooth new mint called Velaments with a total stranger. As long as you go. Tracy Wilson. Debbie Wilkes and Alva Stoiko with you for the Worlds. Day two at the Worlds. Yesterday qualifiers, this guy was outstanding. He could have only bottled it into today, Alvis. The crowd loves him. Open up with a nice triple axe, a little tentative, but still does it. Here's a shot of his great spinning ability. It's a little bit in slow-mo, so you can't see how amazingly fast these spins are. And what's amazing, he stays in one spot and doesn't move on the ice. One of those cases where actually that costume works for the spin as well. I think they designed it for that reason. Looks great. So now what's going to happen to Stéphane Lambiel? He will not be in the final flight Thursday night. Tim Gable says he wants to be the first man to ever land four quads. Maybe that'll happen Thursday night. He might need four quads to win the world title. Well, sometimes you have to uh, knock the champion down. And uh, you really got to go after it. He might be able to do it. Gable's next, then Michael Weiss. And Lambiel, who it's so hard. You just land a quad. There's Weiss. Again, has been seeking help from a hypnotherapist over the last few weeks. Already has a limousine rented, a Hummer limousine, Thursday night for the win. They're that confident that they can win gold, the Weiss camp. Required elements, low marks, 4-2 to 4-9. This will knock Lambiel right out of the top 10. Well, not only did he have the mistakes, the two mistakes on the jumps, he was very tight, and that, that showed in his skating because it was, it was slow and quite reserved. Unfortunate, but a learning experience for him. He's going to take that with him for the next year. 6 to 17, the Ordinals. And now, representing the United one of the Americans. Olympic bronze medalist. Second in his qualifying group, technically in a tie for third. And I didn't want to anoint him King Quad yet, but sitting beside the guy who made it an art form, but this is the man who has made quads look like triples. He has a great spinning ability in the air, very fast twitch muscles. He is skating to music from Romeo and Juliet, and for his quad, unlike the other competitors, he will do a quad sal cow. under rotate but that was perfectly clean and now the triple axle 
good height. That was a beautiful landing. More speed coming out of the jump than going into it. He is seriously on here. going to be about the spins, the in-between, splitting of the hairs in this program against Honda and Plashenko. A little bit slower going into his jumps. Nice triple flip. Shanko. The ice coverage is not as fast. Perfect. Now there's going to be a big question here. Will that second mark mean everything? And if it does, he might not be elevated into first place. And if he's not, this crowd's going to go nuts. We'll have to see. Honda's program, faster, stronger, but only does a quad double. Plashenko, quad triple. Program comparison. We'll have to see what happens. And guess who's next? Final skater of the night, Michael Weiss. Side coach Frank Carroll, he missed the entire Grand Prix season due to a hip injury. He struggled at the national championships. Back on form in this short program that was as good as he can do it. In the warm-up, he had trouble with the triple axle. Didn't look as sharp. But he came out and did a great job. Here's a quad sal. Nice clean landing into the triple toe. Well, we'll see the marks. And the marks will technically be very strong for elements. Probably near perfect. The second set, though, could determine his placement in a big way, setting up the free skate. Artistry has not been his strong suit. He's focused more on getting his jumps consistent and build as an artist later, but it's going to hamper him here in the marks. A man feeling the heat this week here. Ottavio Cinquanta, president of the ISU, again earlier today, a new skating federation, breakaway federation perhaps, in protest to the new judging system, what many skaters, high-profile skaters, feel hasn't been done in this sport since the Salt Lake scandal. And remember, this is a pro Great United mark. States crowd. 5-7 five, seven. Five, seven to 5-8. Five, Presentation marks upcoming should be lower. Not quite as good as Plashenko so far. Plashenko getting 5-9 five, five, technically five, and higher and presentation five, marks, but second place marks for Timothy Gable. This could be an Timothy advantage Gable going into the, the long. States Being first is, is a very tough position. Second place. Good spot for Timmy. Currently in second place, Timothy Gable knocking Honda down to third. Plushenko is first. And final skater of the United night. States. Please welcome Michael White. Well, will he be a giant tonight? He needs a gigantic performance here and a gigantic quad. Well, he's got the music that I think will get this audience going. Selections by Van Halen and Metallica. There's his wife, Lisa. She's his choreographer. You can see she's a little bit nervous. 
and he has to be too. He has not landed his quad in competition in the short program this season. of the quad to see if that left toe is going to touch down. No, perfect! Perfectly clean. Quad toe, triple toe for Michael White. And his triple axles up next. level in this arena just rose, I think, 10 degrees. Great footwork. Great ice coverage, connected to the music, rock and roll style, my kind of style. Oh, no. Jeez. You've got to be kidding. Final triple will be costly. I'm shocked. The difference between first and fourth. His only goal here was gold, he said. That may have cost him the world title. That right there, like you said, Rod, might have cost him. I'm shocked. That's his best jump, is a triple Lutz. Wow. Looked like he was off to the races. After landing the quad, maybe after the quad, he felt he was going to coast Michael to the finish White line. The Hit a States. speed bump. A big one here in Washington, his hometown. The heading, oh my goodness. Michael Weiss, seriously in contention for the gold medal. We talk about it time and time again in the short program. You can't win it, but you can lose it. And this pretty much took him out of the running for the world title. I think he lost his concentration on that triple Lutz. Here's the quad. Like I said, we were watching for the toe, but it's clean. It's clean. Sometimes that left toe sticks down and across the right leg, but it is clean right there. It doesn't touch the ice and it's backwards. No problem, right up into the triple toe. Those funky skates designed by coach Nick Perna. This is his best jump. I've never seen him miss this jump. Lost concentration, didn't power through the jump. His right leg didn't extend up in the jump. He couldn't complete the revolution. I think it totally caught him off guard. Well, the hypnotherapist worked for about two minutes. Final Ladies 30 seconds. Mark, please, Michael White from the United States. Well, I mentioned that the difference between first and fourth, actually the way Zhen Zhang Li skated earlier, probably the, the difference between first element. and fifth could put him right out of the running. Quad is so important. All of the top five skaters landed a quadruple jump. The range of marks is between 5-2 five, two, five, two to 5-4. Five, 
deduction of the mark please for point four for that and presentation might be a little bit higher for Michael Weiss in the R5, 6 to 5, 8, but he's currently in fourth, and he was fifth the in the short program. Chang Jang Lee was six, fourth in the short program. Five, eight. Because of qualifying Weiss and the final the mark States. being worth 50%, really, the gold medal now is between Plushenko and Gable with an outside shot at Honda. Fourth, it's very difficult to rise to first. Plushenko aiming for a second world title. Gable, great skate for him. Honda in third, Weiss in fourth. We go down the list to the Canadians. Emmanuel Sandu in tenth. Jeff Buttle in ninth position. Remember last year he was in eighth in Nagano. And here's Dave Randor. With smiling Jeff Buttle, a guy who's always got that big grin on his face, so close to the quad tonight. Where does this short program stack up at the end of the year here? Uh, I mean, at the end of the year, this short program has by far been the best one um, at all the competitions. Uh, I landed the quad a cleaner at Four Continents, but again, it affected my other two jumps. So to be able to recover from a slight mistake here and, and do the other two jumps was just awesome. I mentioned you, you've always got the smile on your face, and you do, but you seemed real loose going into tonight. In the warm-up, you seemed ready to go. You seemed to be pretty comfortable here at the Worlds. Yeah, actually, I felt really comfortable out there. Um, I mean, I felt pretty good uh, in the qualifying, but again, even before I stepped on the ice today, I just felt even better than I did yesterday. Well, let's hope that leads into another great performance in the free skate. Congrats tonight, and good luck with the long program. Thank you. That will be Thursday night. The Canadians not in contention for a medal, but who knows? Maybe a personal best for Buttle and Sandu on Thursday night. Plushenko the leader heading to the free skate. <laughs>